Down for Hire. Uh, we're making this video today, kind of clear up some of the misconceptions uh, guys are coming, they, that guys have when they're coming into training, especially about gear. Uh, we got guys showing up to training, they don't have the proper gear, they don't have slings, they don't have lights, they don't have a zero on their rifle. So we want to kind of square that away, uh, make sure everybody's coming in so they get the best experience, uh, best training experience they could get for the day. Uh, first of all, rifles, right? Doesn't matter what type of rifle you bring. Uh, this is probably one of the most popular. It's the AR platform, as everybody knows. And this is the most common rifle we see, although we do see other types also. Uh, so simple, what you, what you should have on your rifle, first and foremost, is a sling. Some type of uh, sling that's gonna attach the rifle to your body. Very important, especially when we start doing some of our different manipulations transitioning shoulder to shoulders. Uh, we wanna make sure we have a good sling that's attaching that gun to our body. Uh, second is a good lighting system, right? Here I run a Surefire Scout light uh, on a Haley Strategic mount, and I have a Unity Tactical Tap Switch. So uh, not only does it run my light and laser, but it can run them in independently or together, just laser alone. That's a little bit more advanced stuff, but still good stuff to have, right? Uh, old saying with this thing, with this kind of training, uh, buy once, cry once, right? So don't buy cheap stuff, you're gonna end up throwing it away. Uh, pay for the decent stuff, it's gonna last a long time. Uh, optics, a lot of people like to run optics. This is an EOTech. Behind it, I have a 3X magnifier. Uh, on a tilt mount, in case I had to go out at distance, I could always tilt that up and get that three times power. Uh, but then at close quarter ranges, room distance, I'm good to go with getting that, that 3X magnifier right out of the way. Charging handles. We recommend, you're gonna hear us preach all time, set your rifle up to be completely ambidextrous, meaning I could run it right from the right side, I could run it from the left side. Same thing with my flashlight, I could run it uh, with, my, with my strong side hand, I could run it with my support side hand. I can do all of those things ambidextrously. Uh, safety, same thing, ambidextric safety. These are uh, the safety and the charging handle are by a company called Radian. Uh, they make some really good stuff. Um, your, your sling attachment, QD, quick detach, right? Push button, I can pop my sling right off. This is on an M-lock rail, okay? You need to know what kind of rail you have on your firearm. There's three different types. You might have a key mod, it's kind of self-explanatory. It looks like a keyhole, different slots on, on the rail. This is an M-lock. It has like the little sort of rectangular slots. And then you're gonna have a regular standard Picatinny rail where it has Picatinny rails at the 12, three, six, and nine positions on, on your rifle. You need to know what type of rail you have because that's gonna be the type of attachments or rails you're gonna put onto your actual uh, forearm rail. Uh, I'm running a Surefire Warden. It's a blast uh, diverter, keeps everything running forward, especially when you're in training, you're on a close line, if we have these loud muzzle brakes on. Guy right and left, he's kind of getting beat up from the concussion of the firearm going off. This thing's really good to have. You make a lot of friends by not beating people up all day with your rifle system. All right, so optics. Uh, uh, a lot of people love to use red dot or uh, holographic type optics. Really good piece of kit to have. Um, you wanna make sure you come to class with a good 50 yard zero on your rifle. Although we're gonna check your zero, we don't wanna spend a lot of time in our four hour class of getting you zeroed in on paper. We use a 50 yard zero, it's a 50, 300. It's good from 50 yards out to 300 on a man sized torso target and we'll explain that more in the class. Uh, your iron sights, backup iron sights. You should also have some type of backup iron sight system on your rifle, okay, in case your optic goes down, we recommend that. That again has to be independently zeroed at 50 yards. So my irons are zeroed at 50, my red dot zeroed at 50, and I, if I have a laser system, that's gonna also be independently zeroed. Everything has to be done separately, okay? Now, again, what you see on my rifle, that's built for me. You, it's all personal preference. So what we'll do is we'll put it, a link uh, onto this video with different manufacturers, different places to buy different type of gear, and it's trial and error. But if you do have any questions on gear, please, by all means, contact myself, Bob P at gunforhire.com. 
or Tony uh, Yu at gunforhire.com. Uh, he, Tony's the director of training and will answer all the questions for you about what's the proper gear you should have on your gun. Okay, so other gear that comes in with these training classes, right? Because it's a more tactical class. Guys want to wear plate carriers. Fine, I have no problem with that. Set your plate carriers up. This one happens to be a Cry Precision uh, JPC. Here's the deal with plate carriers, guys. Unless you're some kind of LARPer, live action role player or something, uh, put plates in it, right? You're training with this gear. Get used to the weight, put the plates in, and run them that way, right? No sense in having a plate carrier if you're gonna run them without plates, all right? So that's my recommendations. Uh, the type of mag pouches you put on, again, it's gonna be personal preference. I have a Haley Strategic uh, mount uh, with swift clips that attaches straight to this, uh, this, this rig itself. It's a I have a hanger that which hangs down, which I have all my med gear in. And then I have uh, a dark vault by Thyrum. And that's just really to keep my phone or anything, uh, any type of electronics, it keeps it safe, waterproof, doesn't get banged up while I'm training. Okay, so belts. Uh, we see people come in all the time, they have the improper type of belts, uh, wrong type of holster for their handgun. If you're gonna use an outer belt, tactical belt like this, high speed gear, VTAC, really good belts. Uh, what you'll see is they have Molly attachments to put different attachments onto your belt. Also, you'll have uh, an inner belt, which is high speed gear with a good Cobra buckle. Holsters, I like runs in, running Safari Land. Again, it's personal preference, but Safari Land seems to be the best for me. I run an ALS, which is advanced locking system. Uh, simply it has some type of retention where I can get the handgun out. If you are gonna run a handgun light, a light on your handgun, please have a compatible holster. You're not gonna have time to take the light on and off to reholster during the drills that we're doing, plus it's not really safe to do that anyway. So we're gonna stay away from that stuff. Uh, pouches, I run high-speed gear pouches for just about everything. Uh, magazine pouches, they're very adaptable. Uh, any weapon system I'm using, I can get those magazines to basically fit into those pouches. A dump pouch, all that really is is to pick up my magazines and stow them after we're done shooting, and I run a tourniquet on my belt, right? Real simple. I, I, Another a good saying that, I, that I've learned a long time ago that holds very true, ounces become pounds, pounds become pain, right? The more stuff I put on my belt, the more stuff I put on my rifle or my, my uh, plate carrier, the heavier it's gonna be, right? And that's gonna end up beating me up throughout the class. So I wanna keep that in mind, right? Lighter is sometimes better, right? Depending on what we're doing. All right guys, so that's just a real quick video. Of course, we could get much more in depth any questions, shoot us a call, come on down. Uh, before you get into these classes, when we're talking an urban series of classes, please know your rifle, okay? I, I, you don't have to be an expert, but know how your rifle operates, how to manipulate it, where the safety is, charging handle, how to load, unload. These are all things you should know before you come to these classes. Uh, hope to see you down here at the range, right? Training's very important. Now more important than ever, in my opinion. So get on down here to Gun For Hire, sign up, come on in. Again, any questions, hit us up and we'll help you out the best we can.